Hey guys, I'm Arm. And I'm Ayush. We're the Chase Twins. So today, we bring to you a new series called Three Easy DIY Treats. So if you're into this channel, we are two twins who really enjoy baking and we have for a very long time and we wanted to show you the fun of baking and some tutorials. So if you are new, please consider subscribing as it will really help us out. Okay, in this series, we are going to get one base ingredient or like food and then we're going to make three different desserts that are easy to make. Um, like out of the out, out of that like ingredient. So um, today we're gonna be using these dessert, these dessert cups, um, and they're basically like sponge cake, but like in the shape of a bowl, so you can put stuff inside. So we're gonna make uh, three things with this. Okay, our ingredients. We are first gonna get the dessert cup, and then one third cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of lemon zest. So just like the rind of the lemon, uh, also like the the peel of the skin, and then three eggs. 3 fourths cup of sugar, and 1 half cup of butter. Okay, so we are going to be preheating our saucepan to medium heat, and then we're gonna add in our 1 third cup of lemon juice into the saucepan, and then we're gonna add in our 1 teaspoon of lemon zest, get that in there, you know, yeah. Okay, okay, yep, yep, yep. And then we're gonna give it a stir using our, you know, spatula or spoon, doesn't really matter, it's your choice, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to be adding in three eggs and then giving that a stir again. And then once that's done, just take your time and go slow. Take your time. <laughs> You know, we have all day, it's fine. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, we're done, we're done, yeah. Okay, now, yeah, now, yeah, okay. Now, we're going to be adding in our 3 fourth cup of sugar. And giving it a nice stir. Make sure everything is nice and combined, but just don't over mix it. And lastly, we're gonna add in our half cup of butter, and then we're just gonna keep on mixing it. Okay, so you can uh, change to a whisk. We're just gonna mix this, six minutes about. Make sure it like thickens. Constantly stirring. All right, that is all for the first part. Okay, now you can take your dessert cup, put it on, then get a spoon, scoop some of this custard in to like the top. Perfect, now we can refrigerate this. Okay, so this dessert uh, fills like the, the lemon curd. It fills uh, eight dessert cups, and so you'll be needing eight for them. All right, now on to dessert number two. Okay, so for our second dessert, we're gonna make a uh, chocolate mousse inside the dessert cup. Okay, so we have a half cup of chocolate. Uh, we got like a chocolate bar, and we just cut it into many pieces. Each size is about like really small, it's probably like it's this big, I don't know if you can see that. It's like the size of like my fingernail, like half my fingernail. Um, so we got half a cup of chocolate, and then we got uh, a fourth cup of heavy cream. And yeah, so we're, we have two saucepans. And so for one of them, we're gonna put a water bath. Uh, in the description, it'll tell you like what a water bath is, um, so you should know. And then we got another saucepan where we're gonna add in our heavy cream. We are going to be heating the uh, heavy cream until it's like hot, but not it's not boiling. So it's like low heat and it's not gonna be boiling. And then we are going to add our chocolate into the water bath. We're gonna add it in. And then you get the spatula and just mix it around in a tiny bit until everything is liquid. Okay, so while our chocolate is still hot, we're gonna just go onto the heavy cream. And so it's a, there's a little simmer on the top. I'm just gonna keep, mix it a little bit. And it's now done uh, to the top. And then we're gonna add it to our chocolate. So I'll add a little bit. Give it a mini mix. Okay, 
Okay, so we are gonna put this into the fridge and first we're gonna strat up it and then put it in the fridge for one hour. Okay, so we put our mousse in the freezer for like 30 minutes because it was a little bit liquidy, um, but it helped a lot. It helped like make it more like a mousse, like the texture wise. Okay, so it has been an hour and we just took our mousse out. Uh, we got two dessert cups and we're just gonna fill them in using a spoon. Just gonna add it in. We have all day, kind of, not really. You might want to hurry it up here. No, I have all day. Oh, that was that. It's a better method. Just pour it in. Yeah, you can just go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be making is a cookies and cream uh, cheesecake in the dessert cup. Obviously, so our ingredients we got we got so five uh, sandwich cookies split into the like the cookie part and the filling. Um, so we got ten cookies and then the five pieces of filling. And then we got a fourth cup of sugar, of granulated sugar. And then we got one, a quarter cup of butter. Can you see that? Yeah, it's unsalted butter. butter unsalted way. butter, yes. And then lastly, uh, we got the cream cheese. We have uh, four ounces. Four, four ounces, ounces, ounces of cream cheese. Can you see that? No. See it? I didn't. No. It's a little bright. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, there. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's start making or making. Okay, so we're gonna get our stand mixer. Plug it in. Now we're gonna get our butter, put it in, alright? Then add in our cream cheese. That's four ounces of cream cheese. Okay, it's in. Then we're gonna add the attachment and give it a mix until it is completely combined together. All right, it's completely combined, and now we're gonna add in our sugar. This is one fourth cup of sugar. All right, now that's all combined, we're gonna get six of our sandwich cookies. They like, uh, took away the filling. Uh, we have, uh, now we're gonna get six of them, and then make sure you wash your hands uh, before you do this, and then just crumble them a tiny bit. You just first crumble them, each individually, and then make sure they're all crumbled in, and then just add them in. So like, just let, like powder kind of. There, it's all nice. Okay, now that's one, and then yeah, start the time lapse. Now, we're gonna add in our filling, like the inside, the cream part of the cookies and cream, into our mixture. Add it all in once. There we go. Now, mix. Okay, so while everything is nice and thick, we're gonna get, like, you get a spoon, and then you're gonna get your dessert cup. Okay, you got your dessert cup. You're gonna get some of the cheesecake and just place it in. There you go, it's nice. All right, now we are gonna put our cookies and cream cheesecake into the fridge for about 10 minutes or uh, whatever your preference is, because if you want it to be like a firm cheesecake or like a soft cheesecake. Okay, I'm gonna have this now because it's been 30 minutes uh, and it's been the fridge for 30 minutes. Uh, as you can see, when you put it down like this, it barely droops down, which is good. It's a good sign. And now let's get a spoon. Let's try. Oh, that. Oh my god. I was absolutely amazing. Okay, let's have this. It actually like stays together pretty well. Let's try this mousse. Oh, it's nice texture. 
Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. So good. No. I killed two, seriously. Really, the texture is actually staying really well. Amazing. It looks really good. All right, I'm gonna try the cookies and cream cheesecake. Uh, it looks amazing, wow. Uh, and so yeah, we uh, once we put it in the like the dessert cup, we put it in the fridge for 10 minutes and this helped a lot with the texture. Um, and so we're just gonna try this now. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's actually fabulous. Oh, I mean, it's amazing. It's like perfect combination between the like, cheesecake Sponge cake, it's amazing. I just love it. Okay, let's have this. Oh, it's amazing. It's so like, um, it's like a normal cheesecake. It's amazing. That, that is amazing. For a bit of cheesiness, I'm like, the cookies and like cream go really well with this. Like, it's just amazing. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos that we post. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching this video. These were all amazing desserts. Um, we hope you make them. And, and yeah, I guess we'll think about our, the desserts. You don't have to actually have the dessert cups um, because you know, like some of the desserts like mousse and cheesecake, you don't have to have a dessert cup for them. You can just have them by themselves. Um, and so yeah. lemon curd, you can like put it in like a tart cup, you know, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's really good. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.